Morning YouTube friends and family. Hey, it's Monday, back to work today. Today, Milo's High School had a two hour delay because they lost heat. So he got to sleep in this morning and I got to sleep in this morning because I didn't have to take him to the bus stop at 7 a.m. Hey, thanks for coming with me on my day. I am going to uh, do an exploratory job today in Hollowell to investigate uh, why I think a roof leak is happening and what the fix should be. So there's gonna be a little bit of labor, deconstructing a ceiling, finding out where the leak is coming from, and then coming up with a plan to fix it. I think it should be a short day, but I will be packing up and uh, heading out here shortly. I'm just pulling back in home to pack up all my tools and get this show on the road. Honkers? Honkers? So the ceiling here has a major stain spot on it. There is a severe leak that's occurring through here. There have been people that have tried to fix windows above to stop the leak, fix the roof above to stop the leak, fix the siding above to stop. None of it has worked. So uh, the only thing that nobody has tried yet is exploring from the inside to see where the water is coming from. So that's my goal. Find out where this leak is coming from, come up with a plan to fix the leak, and then re-insulate this entire ceiling and put new drywall on. So. Today is just the exploratory day. Once I come up with a plan, I will probably be coming back tomorrow and the rest of the week to affect the fix. That's black mold, bad stuff.
I'm gonna be doing a little bit more investigation, but my preliminary uh, <clears throat> analysis leads me to believe that water is getting into this roof system from the eave, you know, where the drip edge occurs. I can see daylight between the drip edge and the fascia board, which is that board at the at the at, at the eave that comes straight down. So uh, that means that especially if there's any wind-driven rain, um, rain is going to come down the roof, get around the drip edge come across the soffit and leak into the ceiling. Um, and then there's just a ton of condensation that's going on up there because there's a major connection with the kitchen. I can see right through daylight, uh, which means that warm, moist air is getting up into this space, condensing on the cold roof deck and then dripping down when it gets warm out. So that's part of it, I think, too. I'm gonna do a little bit more demo before I make my final determination, but I think I'm, I think I'm on to something. Okay, I think part of the issue is that this drip edge here is right at the fascia. So the top of this board is right here. And what's happening is water comes, gets under this drip edge, bypasses this board and gets inside the soffit and then goes into the building. So especially when there's any kind of wind-driven rain or excessive melt, you know, it's going to just sneak right by there and it's going to get underneath here and it's just going to leak in. Uh, this whole stretch needs to be replaced. For now, I'm going to get some temporary flashing under here so that it'll just drip down no matter what. Um, you know, because I don't want to improve the inside without fixing the leak. So this area needs to be buttoned up temporarily until better weather and the roof can melt. The other problem is that, can you see all the way down there? That's into the bathroom, way down there. So there are openings in what was the original exterior wall, and all of the warm, moist air that's in the house is exhausting into this roof cavity. And when it does that, it condenses on this cold roof deck and accumulates ice in the wintertime and moisture throughout the rest of the year. So. The two-part plan is to fix the drip edge and fascia, air seal this so that we don't get moisture into this cavity, and re-insulate in new sheetrock. Sounds simple. It's going to be a big mess of a job, though. So you can see I've re removed about a four foot wide section of ceiling here. And that has uh, made about three very large bags of trash and there's a bunch of wood debris. Long story short, I would really like a dumpster here to take care of all this stuff, make it a lot easier for me, but, but this is the driveway here. So there's really like, very little space for a dumpster and only half of it is plowed. I've got to call into the city to see if I can put a dumpster where my car is. And I'm also going to have a buddy come up and plow this out so I can at least get my work trailer in here. So, you know, just a few speed bumps, but I'm getting it. All right, Pete is outside plowing. Um, I'm done here for the day. I have my plan. I'm gonna report my plan back to the homeowner, um, find out about a dumpster or whether I need to do a truck. And I'm gonna hit this job uh, tomorrow and really go for it. Time to head home.
Well, I woke up this morning. It was ten past the hour. Well, I woke up this morning. There's a hippie. Just trying to finish up uh, the report from my father for that spray foam failure job. I was procrastinating the other day, I didn't get it done, and now I need to finish it. I'm not very motivated though. All right, well, my day's done here. Hey, thanks for coming with me on my day today. And I just wanted to reacquaint you guys with my followers map. I had um, one of you say, hey, whatever happened to your pin board? Well, it's still here. It's still ready to accept new pins. I have more pins to put up. So if you haven't already, let me know your country and city that you live in, and I'll put a pin on the map to represent your subscription. We'll see you tomorrow. Well, that hip is long gone, but my shower is full of flower power. Well, I woke up this morning. There's a hippie playing my guitar. Well, now. At my house, there's a hippie in my car. Well, well I'd better lock my house up because you know.